So The Witcher 3 has an alleged new dynamic and tactical combat system. My name is Stally111 and today I'll be going over some of the features within the new combat system. Certain monsters are weaker at night but stronger during the day at times, and vice versa. After facing some enemies at night and being unsuccessful, you may want to reload and wait till day or upgrade your powers and abilities which will make your weapons more powerful during the night. You as Geralt have some skills which might give you an advantage when fighting either day or night, depending on which you choose. These can be focused on one or the other or even equaled, but in my opinion it will be much more efficient just to go down by one. So you just need to think to yourself, right, what enemies will I be facing in this area? Are they weak at night or during the day? Oh, so it's daytime that they're stronger. Hmm, I better clear them all out before the sun starts to come up. Every single hit of your button is a completely separate hit, and you will have to block more than you did, unless you want to die. It is advised by CD Projekt Red that you prepare for every single battle. That means creating or buying potions, learning the terrain of the battlefield, and meditating. In game of course. You can try meditating in real life, but I very much doubt it will affect the outcome of your fights in The Witcher 3. Due to a large number of people disliking the rolling system in The Witcher 2, it has been removed, and the block and dodge feature has been added in its place. Do you guys have any thoughts? Do you have a preference over this? Do you like the rolling from Witcher 2, or do you think the blocking dodge feature could have potential? You should learn your opponents. Research the different types of enemies you will be up against, and make sure you know their weaknesses so you can control the battle in your favour. If not, they might control the battle and keep on killing you, and killing you, and killing you. Lastly, equipment, which is fairly standard I guess. Four different combinations, you will have to approach the situation from different angles, if you want the battle to go smoothly. For example, using heavy armour and a two-handed sword would require you to be fairly close to the enemy when you start fighting him, but you will have to make every single swing count and make sure to hit them where it hurts. Whereas a lighter build, light armour with maybe a few daggers and a short sword, you could probably sprint up at them fairly fast and use that momentum to keep on hitting them, using their flinching to your benefit, hitting them as many times as you can whilst avoiding any damage, as you are extremely vulnerable. There seems to be even more customization when we're talking about Geralt and Ciri's arsenal of weapons, equipment, abilities and magical attacks, so don't be scared to experiment to see what's right for you whilst you're on the hunt. Thank you very much for watching, hopefully you've enjoyed yourself and learned a little bit more about the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. My name is Stally111 and make sure to drop a like, drop a comment and subscribe if you've not done so already. See you guys on another Witcher 3 talk video. See ya!